we are glad to see you again on our channel. And today, we're looking at a movie where in 2154, people are divided into people living in poverty on Earth and living on Elysium, a space station, in wealth. Max is one step away from dying, and so he is willing to do anything to get to Elysium. There are medical capsules that cure any diseases. Max decides on a dangerous mission. He has to make a series of important decisions on which the fate of people depends. At the end of the 21st century, the Earth suffered from disease, pollution, and overpopulation. The richest inhabitants of the Earth left it to preserve their way of life. People on Earth lived in poverty and with diseases. The boy Max meets a girl named Frey. They are together in a shelter at the monastery. They grow up together and Max says that one day he will take Frey off the Earth. The boy steals constantly, hoping to save money for a ticket to Elysium. Sister says to Max that he is special, and one day he will definitely do something very important. Los Angeles 21-54, The Adult Max looks at himself in the mirror and washes. He is early released from prison. He goes to work. Max works as a worker at Armadine Corp. Children run up to him and beg. But Max laughs and says he is not like someone who has money. Max. When boarding the bus, Max is attacked by two robots verifiers and beaten. Max gets to the hospital where he meets Frey. She examines the guy's arm and says that he has a nasty fracture. Max says that the girl did become a nurse. Frey asks if he steals cars like before. Max tries to tell the girl something, but she leaves, telling him to take care of himself. Max finds her later and says that he understands why the girl left the block and that if he was smarter, he would leave too. He invites the girl for coffee, but Frey refuses. The girl warns that she has a difficult life. But then she says her shift ends on Wednesday at 8 Suo. Frey. Max arrives at the station to see a robot police officer about the morning incident and learns that his probation has been extended for eight months. Max tries to tell how everything was in dispute, but the robot notices that Max's pulse has risen and says that the probability that Max will return to the past way of life is very high. Max arrives at work and is told that he is late and will be fined. The boss wants to suspend him due to a broken arm, but Max convinces him that he can and will work. John Carlyle looks at the production from above and tells his colleagues on Elysium via video link that he is doing his best to return the company to profit. Max's job is to assemble the robots and send them to the compartment where they receive a dose of radiation. John Carlyle, Spider, a hacker who lives on Earth in Los Angeles, sits people on three spaceships to smuggle them to Elysium. All passengers are given special barcodes. Elysium has medical sections that can cure any disease or condition of a person. That is where the goal is to fly. Spider, Delacort, the Minister of Defense of Elysium, intercepts the ships. Her order is to shoot down the ships in space with weapons on Earth. The woman uses the help of an agent on Earth. One ship still manages to land on Elysium and people flee from the side. Delacour gives the order to capture all who came on it. One woman manages to put her daughter in a medical capsule in a nearby house before the guards grab everyone who arrived and deport them. Delacourt. Delacourt is called to the president. On his way home from work, Julio stops Max, who offers to steal cars again. But Max says that he will not go to prison again. Julio. The next day at Max's workplace jams the mechanism of the door conveyor. Shift supervisor tells Max to go inside and fix the door. Max tries to refuse because there is radiation, but the boss says that if Max does not go in, they will find another. Max goes inside and the door fails with the guy inside. The mechanism starts to work and Max gets the strongest amount of radiation, which is fatal. None of the workers can get him out. The robot pulls out Max and says that soon, all his organs will fail and in five days, he will die. The robot gives Max a drug that will help the boy's body function normally until the end. John Carlyle tells Max's boss to take the guy out before he gets it all dirty and get it started again faster so the work doesn't stand. President Patel reprimands Delacour, saying that she is tasked with dealing with illegals without raising alarm. She also used Agent Kruger, who has 15 human rights violations, other violations, 
and serious psychological problems. President Patel says they have made it clear that they do not need sleeping agents. Delacorte says she understands that it is not fashionable to think and act like her now. But if the president is infiltrated, only she will save him and know what to do. President Patel says that this is the last warning, and if Delacour acts without agreement, she will be removed. He also says to get rid of the agent Kruger forever. Kruger on Earth receives a notice that he is fired and must surrender his weapon. Kruger. Max barely reaches the house. He is helped by Julio, who sees him in the street and asks what happened. Max is very nauseous. He is ill. His body is failing. He says he can be cured on Elysium, and that he will visit Spider. Julio says that not even all of his money is enough to get a ticket there. He helps Max take the pills. At the hospital, Dr. Faisal tells Frey that they are now discharging her daughter Mathilde, and if there is a new attack, they will put her back in the ward. That's what the leadership said. He says, it's not Elysium, and they can't cure her. Max comes to Spider and asks him for a ticket promising that he will work for him on his return. Spider laughs and says that the trip is priceless. He also says that every day people come to him and ask for help. Max explains that he has a couple of days to live. Spider tells Max that he will give him a ticket in exchange for work. He needs to steal information from the head of a businessman, from Elysium. In exchange, Spider will send Max to the medical bay on Elysium. Spider says that he needs to connect to a businessman's brain with such a flash drive and download all the data into Max's head. Spider also says that will connect Max to a special neuro suit to make him strong as a troll. Max says he needs three people. Spider replies that one will be his data collector. Max says he will take Julio and he will also get a ticket. It's announced that the data would be taken from John Carlyle. John Carlyle flies to Elysium to negotiate with Delacorte, which says his company needs revenue. And then she offers John defense contracts 200 years in advance with all the necessary equipment. In return, John would have to transcribe the program and perform a coup so that Delacorte could become the new president. Max has applied a barcode on his hand to merge with the inhabitants of Elysium. He's also assigned a suit and Max becomes strong. John Carlyle writes a reboot program and saves it to his brain, choosing the defense, to kill in case of something. John Carlyle is about to take a shuttle to Elysium. Max and his team must wait for the departure, hit it with an explosive charge, and then at the crash site to download the information from John Carlyle's head. The John Carlyle's shuttle takes off, and Max hits it with a charge. The shuttle drops. Delacorte contacts Kruger and tells him to deal with Max and the others in exchange for reinstatement at work. Max with the guys arrive to the shuttle. John releases his robots, but Max destroys them with his superpowers. Max gets to John. He and the guys start downloading data, but at the end, they see that the data is encoded. <laughs> Military shuttles are coming. Max and Julio escape, but Kruger is following them. He takes Julio's life. Max is wounded, but he manages to escape the chase along with a copy of the program. Delacour gives the command to close Los Angeles, while Max is free so that no one leaves the city. Spider loses the signal with Max. Max comes to Frey and asks for help, saying that he cannot go to the hospital. The girl provides him with medical care as she can. The next morning, she tells that her daughter has advanced leukemia and asks to take her to Elysium to be treated. Max says that the barcode is tuned to his DNA and he can only help if he leaves. The girl stops Max and tells him the story of how the meerkat reached for the fruit with the help of the hippopotamus because he could not do it himself due to growth. Max asks, what is the use for the hippopotamus from this and leaves. Kruger breaks into Frey's home and kidnaps her and her daughter when he does not get information from them about where Max has gone. Max arrives to Spider and learns that no one can fly as all flights are stopped. They display the data on the screen and realize that Elysium's reboot program is there. Spider says his guys are trying to hack the data. 
Max says if this data is so valuable, he'll go to Elysium. Max tells Kruger that he will give all the data in exchange for access to the medical capsule on Elysium. Max enters the shuttle to Kruger and sees there Frey with her daughter. Delacour cancels the no-fly zone and the shuttle departs for Elysium. During the landing on Elysium, Kruger begins to struggle with Max for data in his head. Max keeps a grenade in his hand all the time. During the struggle, the grenade explodes in front of Kruger. The shuttle falls and is damaged. <laughs> Max manages to free Frey with her daughter, and they get away running into the house. Frey puts the daughter in the capsule, but because of the lack of barcode, nothing can be done. The soldier enters the house, and the girl asks for his help, but the military grabs them. Max himself is arrested and taken to Delacour. Delacour orders to extract the data from Max's head and get rid of Frey with her daughter. Max breaks out and heads to the armory, there Frey with the daughter at Kruger's people. Kruger at this time comes to his senses. Delacour comes up to him and curses his actions. Kruger uses a shard from the mirror to hurt Delacour. Kruger tells his guys to destroy all the politicians in the building. Kruger himself wears an even more sophisticated suit to track Max and rebuild the protocol for himself. Spider arrives on Elysium. He contacts Max and tells him he knows how to get the data out of his head. Max comes to the compartment, where the fray with the daughter is already attacked by Kruger's man. Max enters into a shootout. Then he tells Frey to run into the house and use a medical capsule saying that this time everything will work out. He knows what to do. Max makes a deal with Spider. His people hold Frey and her daughter and make sure that they are okay. And then Max will give all the data. <coughs> Max and Spider purposefully go to the computer core, but they have Kruger in their way. Kruger detonates a grenade and dazzles Max briefly. Between the characters, there is a shootout, then a fight. Max disconnects Kruger from the suit and drops him down. Max and Spider get to the computer. Frey and her daughter run to the medical capsule with security. Spider changes the code of the program and realizes that retrieving data will take Max's life. Max has a choice. Climb into the recovery capsule himself and heal but then Frey's daughter will be unhealed. And unlike Max, she has no record in the Elysium database that she is a citizen. Max is ready to sacrifice himself. He calls Frey and tells her that he has kept his promise but can't go with her. Spider starts downloading the data. Max dies. Frey and her daughter gain access to the capsule and the girl is cured of leukemia. Police robots break into the room, but nothing can be done. The program now says that all people on Earth are also considered Elysian citizens and need medical care. Medical shuttles with all equipment go to Earth. Frey smiles and remembers how Max was as a child. He did what was important. This is an American and Canadian film, Elysium, in the genres of fiction, action, thriller, drama. Director and screenwriter is Neil Blomkamp.